This week on The Fish Guys. Just Look want to fish, George. Look it. Oh, that's a nice yellowtail. Fish on! Get him, Scotty. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Holy mackerel. <laughs> that's a big one. Doubled up. We're like shake and bake, baby. Shake that's and bake. That's nice. Fish on, fish on. Come on, I can't get hold the hook out. Stop whining. Wait a minute. Hold, you got the fish? He's trying to get me. Fish on, fish on, Lane! Woo! Got him, got him. That's it. Fish on. Beautiful, Woo. huh? Oh! Nice. Doubled up! Doubled up. Several weeks ago, Captains George and Lane trailered their contender and turned south on US-1, fishing from Key Largo to Key West. Along the way, They've caught up with old friends and fished some new spots. Oh my God, yeah! what a slug! Yeah, I got him! Though Key West may be the end of the road, it's only the halfway point for this fish guy's road trip. Before heading north, the guys get word that good buddy Scotty Stokey is in town with his 39-foot contender. And just like that, the guys are back out on the water fishing the Atlantic coast of Key West. We're gonna run around and just look around right you know whatever we catch we catch got a thousand pilchards and a couple wells here i think we're going to catch something today right some ballyhoos if we can't catch fish even though we don't fish here a lot if we can't catch fish today they ain't biting we'll just go eat somewhere as we have to i'll just eat the ballyhoos perfect let's do it with a chum block soaking to entice the ballyhoo the guys waste no time getting lines in the water to see what's lurking below on this shallow patch reef uh, fish on. Get up, get up, get up. You got one? Get up. Gotta get him up. <coughs> what is it? I don't know. Oh, it's a nice mangrove. There you go. It's a nice gray snapper, yeah. as you would call it, huh? I got one too. Do you? I got, yeah. But mine's a yellowtail. Nice, nice. Huh? Captain Scotty Stokey putting us on him already, buddy. I'm telling you. Well, if you chum, they will come. Right, we're gonna stand and keep a couple for dinner. I'm keeping mine. They're great eating, both of these. I mean, two Florida Scotty, Keys where, staples. Where are we here. putting these? Right under your feet. I'm opening this hatch so nobody fall in. All right, here, can you hold this leader for me, please? Here, I'll get it for you. Just, Just hold the leader. Go. Just stick your finger in his gills. I'm sticking my finger in Jeez, his gills. Pete. That's four tacos. Thank you. <laughs> it's awesome. That's the way to start. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, pull it. You got, man. Can you pull that way? <sighs> Sorry. Oh, he's in my way. I just want to fish, George. Look at it. Oh, that's a nice yellow tail. Four tacos. Four tacos. You ever plan on cutting your hair, dude? Why, is it bothering you? There's a there's a bird, I can't quite think of it, where it's got like blonde hair that sticks big out to bird. the side. Is that what it is? Yeah, it big be, bird, that's might be it. Big bird. Now it's coming back. From Sesame Street. It looks just like Big Bird, huh, Scott? Yeah, I think it's like tucked back inside the hat. <laughs> it's a comb they... up and over. Yeah. Fish on! Get him, Scotty! Good fish? Uh-oh. Ah, get him out. There he is, yep. He's a big Mondo yellowtail. Look at the size of this yellowtail. Big old yellow? Yeah. Oh my that. goodness, Scotty. Oh, son. <laughs> what you got, George? Yeller tail. Not as big as his grunt that he was. Gotta be honest, I was a little disappointed. I thought you were gonna pull up a nice big old yellowtail. Don't hurt his feelings. He thought he was much larger than he is. No, I mean, he's got a lot of fight in him. I'm a little, really talking about you more than the fish. Don't ever question my manlyhood. Your manlyhood? It's hard to take you serious with your strong. hair sticking sideways out of your, your Keys deep hat. Can't even look at you without laughing. It's like a cartoon character. Got a little, little something, something on right here. Oh, you got him, got him on. Yeah, we got a fish on. Just doing what I normally do, cleaning up your mess while I'm trying to fight fish. It's par for the course. I'm getting pretty good at that, George, multitasking. What do you got? Another gray, another nice. nice gray. Look at that, we'll take that. Heck yeah. That's eight tacos. Hoo -hoo, woo. And we're here to catch bait today? <laughs> well, that's the plan, but you know what? 
you always fish where you stop to catch bait. There's fish there, right? They eat the ballyhoos. Kind of like you, when I go to a restaurant, you're there, because there's food there. That's a beautiful gray snap. Look at that thing. George, they're not blowing up beside the boat at all. I mean, oh, nice mackerel. All right, excuse me, gentlemen. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Excuse me. Saw that fish blow up over here. Guess where I'm standing? Right in the spot. Just waiting to get bit. That's a decent fish. Is it? That's a decent fish. Oh! oh fish on! Oh, fish on! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh, and a, and a rope, and a rope, and a rope, and a rope. It's coming by, coming by. We got a little crab trap. We're good. I think we're clear. Obstacles. You need help? Obstacles. Oh, hey. You need help. Oh, he needs lots of that, but nothing you can help hey, him with. Easy now, Scotty. What you mean I need help? Uh-oh, uh-oh. There he is. There he is. Look at that, huh? Holy mackerel! <laughs> That's a big one! That's a huge zero! On a shallow patch reef off the coast of Key West, George and Lane are exploring new territory with good friend Scotty Stokey. The guys intend to fill the contender's live well with ballyhoo, but this spot has instead proven to be a hot snapper hole. And we're here to catch bait today? Well, that's the plan. By George's count, there are 26 tacos in the fish box, and all this excitement means no ballyhoo. As the bite slows down, Scotty finally throws the cast net. Got him. Get in there, go to your home. That's your home! Now with three full live wells and a bit of knowledge about what's chewing, the guys head out to deeper water. Look at, isn't that pretty? Look at that. The Contender logo's like etched in there, but look at all the fish in there. And they're going, hey man, you wanna join the party, dude? Hey, how about throw, throw us a, out there, man? Throw a few freebies. Oh, sorry, having fun. Uh, right there, George. I think if you don't get a bite, you're not doing it right. Fish on? I think they're biting. Got him! I got one! Oh! Look at him exploding. Doubled up! The fish are biting, Lane. Are they? Get in the yeah, game, You want to join brother. in on the fun? I'm about to. I'm just getting everything rigged up for you guys. Oh, big, big rainbow. What you got there, Scott? Saltwater fish. I guarantee you, sure? you that. Yeah. I mean, it Almost could be positive. a bass. I don't think it's a big mouth bass. No? A big no. mouth bass. <laughs> <laughs> we already got one of those on the boat. You got a big one, too. Man, these are, these are really nice ones. All right, I'm gonna try to grab this guy. You need help? No. Look at that, huh? That's like a our version of a Pacific yellowtail, right? Yep. Check that out, huh, Lane? Ooh, Look at me and Scotty. That's pretty. We doubled up. We're like shake and bake, baby. Shake that's and bake. Nice. Shake and bake. Like Yee! red beans and rice. Woo! All right. Gonna have to keep these. Lots of tacos here. Hook them down in this peck fin. It'll make them kind of spiral downwards without any weight on them. He'll naturally want to spiral down. There you go. That's a tuna. Woo! There you go. Is that a tuna, Georgie? Might be. I don't know, those big rainbows pull like that at first. Yeah. That's uh, gonna be a fish, boys. That's You're gonna right. be a fish. Fish on! Yeah! What do you got? I don't know, I gotta get tight on him here. Get tight, Lane. There we go. Tighten it up. Let that circle hook slide, baby. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! Oh, I got a black fin. Black fin tuna? Black fin tunas. Oh, oh, yeah. A little bit of chaos. Hey, 
If there's no chaos involved, it's not fun. Oy, oy, oy. Look at that, huh? Yes. I'm trying to get out of the way. Got to find me a little space here. Look at that, right in the corner of the mouth. It's a 2-0 offset Daiichi circle hook. Little bitty hook, had him hooked right in the corner of the mouth. Look at that, huh? Hey, George, you want more tacos or you're good? No, let that one go. He's smaller yeah. than ours. Wait, I didn't ask that question. I didn't ask who had the bigger fish. I asked if you wanted more tacos. Everybody's a comedian on this boat. Everybody's a comedian on this boat. All right, yeah, look at that. There's a nice combo. Good huh? job, boys. Look at those peck fins, though, huh? I mean, look at that thing. It looks like a, a damn airplane. And people wonder why they can turn on a dime. Look at them. Yeah, yeah. pretty impressive. The guys are 100 miles from home, fishing with good friend Scotty Stokey off the Atlantic coast of Key West, searching for the next spot to mark on their GPS. With a successful morning anchored on both shallow and deep structure, the trio switch tactics. Gonna do a couple, little bit of drift fishing. We'll put the bottom rods on the starboard side. Don't be shy on the leader, 35, 40 feet. Yeah, big long ones. And as you're drifting, that bait's back there kind of just doing its thing. So fish, it goes by a fish and they eat it. I'm gonna let this down nice and slow. That way that, that, way that uh, lead doesn't spin up around the leader itself. Every bite and every catch are pieces of the puzzle when learning a new area. And so is a lack of action. The guys reel them up and head for a nearby wreck. We made a little quick move here to find a different piece of bottom. We got a live pilchard on, three-way swivel. Same rig we've been using, just a traditional bottom drifting rig. And uh, see if we can't get something to eat. Going down. All the way. Lane, throw a few pilchards. Oh, bottom rod, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on, you're on. Lock it up, lock it up. Good job. Well, we moved spots. It's the last spot. We made a big, long drift and didn't get any bite, so. We just ran down the edge of the reef there a little bit and set up and just got a bait down. Lane's got one on. Hey, he's not too big. I think he's gonna be a snapper, George. Well, that's a that's an improvement, huh? Just started fishing here. Take that dang on clicker off. Here, let me help you. Ooh. ooh Might have on. a king. Here, hold got that, that leader. Lead. Yeah, wind it up. I there got you it. go. I got oh, oh, I got one on that one. There's one on that one. Run up there. Run up there and hook them. You got oh, we got a shark. You need help, George? Oh, I got a, I got a, a wily one. He's crazy. You got a crazy one? I got a crazy one. Another They're shark? They're brothers. They're cousins. Little sharp nosed sharks. Look at that, yeah. huh? It's kind of the markings that they have. They have these little spots on them. You got that little pointy nose. Every fisherman in the Keys probably knows a good wreck or two where they can always catch a few fish. Shipwrecks are ingrained in the history of the Florida Keys due to the shallow reef that stretches from Port St. Lucie to the Dry Tortugas. The Key West Shipwreck and Treasure Museum tells the story of the richest wreck to run aground in the Lower Keys, the Isaac Allerton. This is gonna be cool. This is gonna Looks be cool. Fun. Shipwreck Museum, George. Captain, good day to you, sir. Oh, he's got an eye patch, too. He's not real. Let's go. Yes, he is. Look, now hiring lumpers, a dollar a day, dude. That's all you. What's a lumper? It's a dock worker. Hard work for a dollar. How did you know it was a dock worker? Oh, man, come on. Just follow me. You're so smart. Madame, look, Lane, I'd, I'd put her on the bow of my boat. <laughs> I bet you would. <laughs> Let's go down here. This looks spooky. Hey, you think this is haunted? This is like walking into the bowels of the ship. Right, this is underneath the, the deck here. The cargo I hold. I bet you there's ghosts here. A lot of the stuff at the museum's from the Isaac Allerton. Hey, Lane, you want some rum? I'm no curator, but you probably don't touch stuff in the museum. I'm just saying. Well, it's not roped off, so you can touch it. Just come on, don't it's touch an artifact. it. It's a museum. What, is, what good is an artifact if you can't touch them? That's why it's still around. That's why it's called an artifact. That jug could be like 200 years old. You're 200 years old. Oh, check this out. Silver bar. No way. That's all real silver. Oh, dang, dude. That's heavy, huh? I can't, can you get it out this way? 
Uh, I don't think you're getting that out of here. Look George. at the, it's even stamped. Look, it says Louis Vuitton. No, it's not Louis Vuitton. It's King Louis. Right, Louis Vuitton. King Louis Vuitton. Come on. Hey, you really ought to clean the windows. You should clean your windows. Hey, let's go up to the tower. Want to race? Go. Dude, you're throwing elbows. Come on. Oh, wait. That's not Last bad. one to the top has to buy lunch. I can't park the whole thing. <laughs> oh. Yes, lunch. We tied, oh, yes. Hell. Woo, tied. That's a long way. Dude. It's a wrecker's tower, they call it. Uh, it just wrecked me. <sighs> ah. oh, wow. What Holy a view, smoke. though, huh? Yeah, you ought to see it when you stand up. Oh, my gosh. I can see all of Key West. I'm going to take a little break and enjoy the scenery. Man, isn't this something? This is really cool. This is well worth it. I'm hungry, Lane. Yeah, well, you owe me lunch because I won the race. No, we tied. No tie. Yeah, we did. No tie. You want to race down? Yeah, I'll race you down. Ugh. Ow. George and Lane are in Key West exploring new fishing spots with good buddy Scotty Stokey and his 39-foot contender. With storms brewing in the area, the guys begin to run back to the dock and decide to make one last hurrah for the day, trolling for barracuda, mackerel, or anything that'll take the lure. Got him! You got, got him! him. <laughs> got him, Lane! Man, is he shaking his head. Look at him shake his head. Look at that. Look at this. Seriously, look at that. What do you think it is, buddy? That's uh, a baccaruda. <laughs> baccaruda. Hey, Baccaruda. <laughs> nice Barracuda. It's a pretty fish. Big teeth in that bad boy. Oh, fish on, fish on. Fish on. Oh, yeah. Did he jump yet? No, no jumps. I'd like to get a nice big jump out of him if he's a Cuda. Oh, it's a nice big Barracuda, but he's, he's he didn't jump yet. Bigger than the one I caught. Woo, woo. Come on, I can't Get hold the hook him forever. Out. Stop whining. Wait a minute. Hold, you got the fish? Yeah, for a second. He's trying to get me. Not moving his head. Well, watch out. Oh, nice. You think I'm playing around? I know that's... It's a blink of an eye, and you're like nubby. Yeah, that's it. Probably one of the most underrated sport fish uh -huh. that, we, that we have. Heck yeah. Down here, because they're great. Toothy, hard fighters. I had a good time, man. Great morning of fishing, Captain Scotty. Maybe tomorrow will be even better. You just never know. You never know. That's what I love about this game. But I know one thing. Look back behind. Us. I know. We got we got a little. When you edge start seeing in. shades of purple. It's pretty bad weather, George. You can see it coming in at us. All right, let's clean up the boat. Let's go eat. Another amazing day here in the Keys. Incredible, incredible, incredible. Located just a block off the ever-popular Duval Street in downtown Key West, the Thirsty Mermaid is a quaint restaurant with a menu and decor inspired by the sea. Do you have Jefferson's Ocean Bourbon? That, that I do, actually. Tell you what, maybe just a bottle and a couple glasses. There we go, the Key West style. While the guys kick back with a few sips of Jefferson's Ocean, executive chef Ryan Shapiro prepares for them seared diver scallops. Lightly seasoned with salt and white pepper, the scallops are seared in a hot pan with canola oil. Cooked until a nice golden brown color and medium rare doneness, the scallops are served with fingerling potatoes and sweet corn relish. Oh, here we go. All right, guys, here we go. Oh, boy. Scallop entree for you. Enjoy. Oh, thank you very much. And we will. Mm. Isn't that good? Dang, dude. Great day in Key West, my friend. Thirsty Mermaid, excellent meal. I know, great way to spend the day, huh? Doesn't get any better than that. No. Happy days.